All right, g'day. Uh, welcome. Welcome to uh, Angus Barrett Saturday. I'm Angus Barrett, and today we are doing the, um, the, the, the talk, the timely talk about the uh, Angus Barrett swag. It's actually not the Angus Barrett swag, that's not its name. It's made by Angus Barrett Proprietary Limited, but the name of the swag is Spin Effects. Uh, this will be a, um, I'm going to go into detail here about the swag, what it's about. I'm not going to, I'm not going to rush it through because I want to be able to tell those of you who want to hear about it, what it's about. Um, this is the top of the swag. If you can see, if Kirsty zooms out there, you'll see it's one very big piece of canvas. It's actually bigger than one piece of canvas, it's a couple of pieces of canvas. I'll jump up here, I've taken my boots off for the show. And I'll throw it down here. So that's, this is the inside of the canvas. Got another button there. And we have, we have a few components. Can you see these if I fold them out, Kirsty? Yeah. This, this is the doormat, folks. Right, and what the doormat's for is uh, you roll your swag out, and you take your boots off on your doormat, and that where that matters is because if you're out in the spin effects and you've got home and there's cat heads everywhere, right, and you got to say you got your boots on. I might as well put my boots on to do the full demo. You got your boots on, you roll your swag out, you roll your doormat out. And you can either kick your boots off and step onto your doormat, like so, or however they go. A lot of people might just fall then into their swag. But that's the doormat sort of just to, to stay clean or give you somewhere to to stand if you're if the grass is wet in the morning or of an afternoon, whichever way. I won't fold that back up yet. And then, in, so that's the doormat, right? And then inside the swag, you have a mattress pocket. You have one of these at each end. And we have a mattress. Sit your glasses there, Chris. And you have a mattress cover. So these are all made here. This is, this is heavyweight cotton. We make these. She's not bought in, folks. It's the real deal. It's got a 25mm Velcro end on it. It's going to be really tight to get your mattress in. The fish will paint in the bottom. But it's heavy duty. I don't expect you to pull it off and wash it unless it needs washing. Um, but it will protect your mattress. You're not going to... It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's 310 GSM, the material. And the first ones Tony made were a bit big and a bit loose. And we, had, we made them again. They're tighter. This is this is the this is your foam. Right, it's a it's a it's a very heavy foam. I'll, I'll get down on this old girl. I feel like laying down. Oh, how do I explain that? It's firm but soft. So my elbows, I can just sort of feel the the timber when I point down on my elbow. But when I lean on two like that. Oh, you can feel it on the points, but not under my wrists. It's on my knees a little bit. Um, it stinks, being foam, which is why it's good when it's got the cover on it. it won't smell forever, but it is foam. Uh, it's, it's, it's big. It's must, I think it's two metres by 900. I'll just confirm here. Oh, yeah, it is. I oh, know it is. I designed it. Two metres, two metres and seven. Millimetres, that is, so we'll just keep it at two metres by 900. All right, I am, how tall am I? I'm 1850 tall, 1860. I lay down there, I lay down here, my, there, that's how much room I've got at the end. All right, so that's about metal, got my elbows out, pretty comfy, big enough for a big fella, big enough for a small fella. So your cover, your mattress, in its cover, goes into these pockets. Right, there's the Velcro end. 
and it's sealed all the way. All right, it's, it's, you're not actually meant to open this until you need to, and you'll be like, oh, that's so good. I didn't realize that was a cover. I could pull that off and wash it, because that swag's filthy. So you might pull it off, but you might, you know what, it may never get dirty. I expect people to put sheets over the top of that. I, I think swag should be made up, always. They go to bed made up. And this is obviously for the people who maybe don't use a swag. So for those of you who use swags every day, you then think, thanks, Mr. Barrett, no reason for us to tell us how to roll a swag, mate. But for those of you who do want my opinion, the swag should be made up, bed, sheets, dunas, whatever you want in it, teddy bears, rolled up, ready to go. Because when you want your swag, you just go get it and go. There's not this, oh, I've I just got to go roll my swag. No, nah, mate, it's the, it gets unrolled before you sleep in it and it gets rolled up soon as you get up. That's how I expect the swag to be used because the swag then doesn't, and there's a certain way we make them so that when they're rolled up, nothing gets in them. No creepy crawlies get in them, no lizards, no snakes, no nothing else. You know Laura's in the background there. Hi, Laura. <laughs> so there's the swag. Mattress in its pocket. That's how it lives. All right. Now over this side here, we have what I call the rain flap. Inside the rain flap, you have a Velcro pocket, right? Where you can put a bit of stuff. You can put some, put your keys. You could put some cash. You could put anything that you might want to put in your little pocket in your swag. Right? And then it's got one big flap. Right? Now this is a big flap. So as you, you can see on either side of the mattress. You've got, uh, where my tape measure go? You've got, on either side of your mattress, you've got some uh, 250, 300 mil, all right? And that'll become evident why. But then we also have a double button, all right? And these are double buttons. I use buttons, not zippers, because zippers break. Buttons may break too, but if you lose one button, you've still got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So if you lose one, you've still got 26 others that'll work just fine. And they're stainless steel buttons. They're going to be tough to do up the first time. These haven't been done up. Oh no, that one's all right. All right. But, but it's a double button. All right, now the double button's really important. And this could get very loud here in a minute because my kids have just got home from school. Jimmy's just slipped down and picked them up. So just brace yourself, folks, but we're going to go on with the video. There's a double button. The double button is because if we're buttoned up like this, all right, there and there, and you feel... No, I'm sorry, let me do it properly. Hey, mate. Hey, Will. Tommy. How's school? Good. It's good every day, folks. We're doing a video on swags. Yeah? yeah? I've got your swags down here. I thought you might like to talk about yours in a minute. Yeah? All right, you want to do that too, Tommy? Yeah, right. Will you go and have a play or a glass of water or something? And I'll call out in a second. You can come and talk about your swags. The inside button goes like that, right? So not much to get there. But the reason that button, now my, my swag doesn't have this. This is, a, this is a purely Angus Barrett feature. So when you fill this swag up, say it is rainy, you fill this swag up with bedding or you push a doona or whatever it is right along this side here, that holds that up. So that water hits there and it can't come in. It's got to run off, right? Now say it's a, you get some uh, company in your swag. And your company might be, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to decide, but if you and your company was bigger, made the swag bigger, and you've got more things to put in the one area, you can extend this out and give you a bit more room. The other thing I've done is I put an eyelet on here, so that, and it's actually made to take a bit of, 8 mil rope, because I figure that's a good size given our rope holders are 8 mil. So if you've got a rope holder around with a lead rope on it, you'd be able to tie. So you could tie this, right, up to the side of your ute, 
or your swag. It's still not a tent, folks. We're not making tents. It's a swag, but it's tied up. And I'll, I'm going to put one. I haven't put the other one there, but there's another one going to go on the other end. And so you're going to be able to tie this up. You might be able to get a breeze through it or a bit of shade. You might be able to sit in there and read a book. Wouldn't that be nice? Lay around in your swag and read a book. Anyway, uh, what, have I, what have I nearly missed on here? Uh, so this goes down here. You button the first one up. I'll button it up. This is the process. Right. Inside goes up. And these buttons are meant to stay on. They do stay on. They're designed to work, made to last. They're stainless steel. You've got a single row across the bottom. All right. I've never had anything crawl into the bottom of my swag. <laughs> Actually, never had much crawl into my swag. But I do roll it up properly because sometimes it would go away and it might go away and it might sit in a horse float in front of a horse slayer or it might sit in the side box or up in the corner in the shed. Tommy, you want to give me a hand and roll this swag up? All right, jump up here. Please. You want your new hat for the, for the shoot, buddy? Yeah, you can chuck it on. All right, so this is, this is strapped up. All right, ball buttoned up. Here we're on here, Kirst. The, the straps, I haven't put the swag straps in yet, Tom. All right, but we got. Uh, this is very heavy leather. We'll talk about this when we, when we get in here. All right, turn around, Tommy. Here you go, mate. All right, so we fold this one in. See this here? This is your 250 or your 300 mil. All right, pull your hat down tight. You want to hang on? All right, this is the, uh, that 300 mil. Now, that's, that's so that if you, you want a bit of room in your swag because you're going to put a doona and some blankets or a roo skin rug or whatever it is, we fold that up there, all right? That one comes up. It goes along there. This has never been... Are you going to help me, Rolly? Yeah, jump up here. You hold on there, Tommy. All right, and then you get... See, the other one's in here. All right, so now we're back to the 900. And a good thing to do when you're starting to roll your swag for the first few years while it's breaking in, it's going to take some breaking in. Yeah, you jump down here and roll. Leave Tommy there, he's got that. Jump in that corner. You don't need three people to roll it, I'll start it. So, but your swag, your swag is, that's my boots. Your swag, this first part of foam, this isn't, this is, this is a little bit tricky to roll up. Stay on there. This little, this is a bit tricky because it's, it's heavy duty foam, all right? It's what, it's what we use. But you, you can break it, that first one, get that broken, all right? And you smash it with your knees. It's very hard to bend. It's a bit hard to bend, isn't it? Yeah. All right, then you go a bit more. Hold it in, pull it in tight. Watch sure I don't push off the back of the table. All right. And then you keep going. And then you keep pulling these in like this as you go. And you tuck this in here. You keep rolling it. This is about as hard as it'll be the first time you do it. After you've done it a few times, you get your kids trained, so they just keep going backwards like that. You've got to watch, don't slide off the back. Keep going, mate. Okay. All right, throw your doormat in. All right, so now your doormat goes over the top. Throw him in, Tom. Hey, how come I didn't what? Oh, the binding. I put the binding on there because we put bind. Will's just asking, how come I put the binding on here? We put the binding on there so that we don't have to hem it because if I have to hem it, it's hard to do a hem with a radius. And I radius just because I like the radius. Right, so now you pull that flap in. Right, I've got it, Tommy, from here. I want to explain this. Right, so this here comes up here a bit. Pull it up a little bit, tuck it in there. Right, so now that swag, if you look right in this corner here, Kirsty. That's all sealed, okay, because that, I'll slip back, there's the opening, there's the opening there, all right, and then I'm folding the doormat in, or the rain flap, and I'm tucking it down in there under my knees, and that folds it up, so that's the first fold, and I'll go like this, and that'll roll it out a little bit flatter, 
All right, like that there. Stay on there. Strap, please, Will. Now these, oh yeah, now I'm going to talk about the leather. All right, this is fair dinkum. These are 5.5. Or 5.6, yes, exactly. Very <laughs> thick. Chrome tan, black leather with a print. Now I bought this leather. It's a chrome. It's a very heavy chrome leather. I bought this leather maybe four or five years ago as a trial run for something. I didn't know what I was going to use it for, but I came across it and it was magnificent heavy. And it's been down there in the container waiting for a purpose. It's had one oil. And what we did was we've, I've done it all up, oiled it up, chromed it up, stitched it on with a good pattern, the buckle sewn on and it's staying on. And then this is... It's a fair income strap. This is this is like this would make great stirrup leathers. See that? If, no, felt. no, definitely not felt. Oh. <laughs> Good swag. Will we'll stay focused on this swag, all right? Please. I know. Yeah, I know. Right. So then comes in here, right, and it's meant to pull in tight there. Just slip him back here. All right. So that there. That's where that strap goes. That's its hole, and this is its handle, and this is the same piece of chrome leather. All right, it comes up there. All right. I think I think what Will was trying to say is it's not webbing, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. Like Web webbing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's leather. It's leather. It's leather. And and you know what? It's made to work. It's made to do up. All right. Because you're going to grab this thing. And you're going to pull it. And and what's really important about a strap is there. These straps are going to get dragged and pushed. And pulled and wedged. Now these keepers are made. Let me thank you, William. These keepers are, are all made to a specific thickness, right? So this strap goes down through there, and then it's meant to go back up through there, all right? Which will be a bit tight. But the keeper, Jimmy's made the keepers to have three, all right? So it's up like that. You got where's that other strap, Tommy? Please grab me the other strap, mate. It's got a rolled leather handle. The same thing, and let me tell you, I better mention this. Can you see in there? That's a sunken stitch. Jimmy and Tony were making these, and they said, oh, do we want to sink the stitch? I said, of course we want to sink the stitch. It's a lot more effort because we've got to cut a groove, and then we've got to sew in the groove. But it won't, you won't rub the thread. All right. No, that's upside down. Turn him over that way. What did I get? I got this one the wrong way, boys. Through here. Well, I'll pull him through, bro. Pull him through. They're the right way, aren't they? Yeah. Right, I'll wrap him around. This is as tight as you'll ever roll your swag, so I should definitely land first hole if I've got my holes in the right place. There. Yeah, I made these holes here. A little bit shorter than yours. Why don't you jump down there and grab your swags and throw them up onto the table and then you can tell us what you like about your swags because they're red too. All right. I don't know what else I can tell you that I've forgotten. They're made to, to go to work. That's a, that's a very skinny swag. It's got no sheets in there. Here, yeah, bud, I'll help you. Stay cool. That's the swag rolled up. Uh... They, they do have a... You got them, boys? Yeah. Up and go. Up and go. Right, uh, whose is this one? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? We didn't... Oh, that's what I'm going to tell you. We don't... He's exactly the point. We don't know who swags who. I do because I put a dodgy stitch on Tommy's when I made it. <laughs> so this is Tommy. But we have these leather patches. Right? Excuse me, Jim. In that top drawer under that stamping bench is a big oval patch. I do believe they're in there. And they're the boys' ones that I haven't made. Jeez, that's a nice hat, boy. What sort of hat's that? 10X. Uh, 10X? Beaver felt. Oval, please. No, the big oval. They're big ovals like that, like dinner plate oval. Trophy buckle oval. Okay, so uh, Tommy, unroll your swag and you tell us what you like about your swag, mate. No, there's a real big one. They're in the stamping box then behind it, waiting to be done. They're, they're meant to be on the boys' swags. They just haven't been done. 
All right, so Tommy's undoing his swag. You see him, Chris? Come around here. You see him how he's pulling his straps out? Pull them out, Tommy. Yeah, that's them, mate. No, they're coasters. I'm going to go and get these bits of leather. Well, you boys show Kirsty. You got them. There they are. Yeah, chrome leather. Thank you. And is it all made up, ready to go, your swag? Yeah. Yeah? Right. So what, and then what, look, see, so we've got Tom Barrett embroidered on the top of this here, but what we've got is we've got these leather patches too. All right? And so what I do, if I want, I don't know how much, I'd run a swivel knife around there and I'd write Tom in there and I'd hand carve it all up and put a little, Jimmy could put a border stamp in one, and then we could sew that on, couldn't we, Will? And let's take your swag, for example, and we'd sew it on right, right there. And I think that'd be, you know, that's that leather, which that's is the same nice. leather as yours. This, that is the same. I think that's, the, yeah, that's the same leather. But that's just done. Yours well, has just done a bit of work, right? Well, right, so we'd stamp that on there. And I can maybe make one. But anyway, it's just leather work. We do that all the time. But that's the swag. What else? Do you, what do you like about your swag, Tom? You go first. Do you like anything about your swag? Two layers of button. What do you like about your swag, Will? I roll it out because like, I got a heap of them. Because you are? I have a heap of them. Well, oh, yeah. In your swag? Yeah. Oh, you want to roll your swag out and tell us about your swag, right, Abe? Here you go. Roll it out, man. Yeah, Straight there. Out. Roll it out. Quick, we're on video. We're on time. Tom's taking his hat off. Just roll it out because we're on video here. These people will get bored here pretty soon. But I'd love to know your opinion because I'm thinking, how old are you, Will? Eight. Eight. And how old are you, Tom? Six. Six, okay. <laughs> the, the swag is... Uh, well, here, I'll get my swag up and I'll tell you what I like about it. I like what I like about my swag... Oh, Kirsty's going, I guess, because we want me to do. Want me to tell them about how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost heaps, folks. You don't need to worry about sitting down because you're going to be able to lie down. I don't need to worry about All right, but I, I think Kurt, I haven't seen the Excel spreadsheet, but um, Rebecca's priced them all up. They're around the fourteen hundred plus dollars. Not sure if that includes GST. Well, Definitely does. Really excuse me, Tom. It doesn't include freight. But they're, they're more than $1,000, they're less than $1,500. You'll have to check the website. Uh, there's a navy. navy. There's a navy. Have I done the colours? I'll bring the three colours over here. Yeah, there's three, four colours. Four col Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Four colours? You can take all my, my glory, mate, on the fame. Four colours. They all have the same black leather strap. But I tell you what, if you want to, I'll tell you what, 1500 bucks. if it was 1500 bucks, which is how much I'd charge for, I reckon it'd be a bargain, because those two straps alone, I'd sell them for $180 each. So that's 360 for the leather straps, not to mention the five and a half metres of canvas, the 27 whatever stainless steel buttons, etc., etc., the thread, 207 bonded polyester thread, and the hours and hours and hours of work. Olive, uh, is it blue? Blue, blue. and navy. navy and red. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my red is a bit dirtier. Fifteen hundred dollars over. How, how old are you? Uh, Would you eight? <laughs> eight. Let's call you ten because it's easy to add up. <laughs> ten to forty is thirty years, <laughs> and it'll be just worn in by the time I reckon. Oh, it should be a bit better than worn in. Okay. Excuse me, gentlemen. This, this is my swag. I got this when I was maybe 10 or 11. Or nine away. All right, that's a nickel-plated buckle, and it's done quite well. It's got a bent tongue on it. That strap there would have been 13 millimetres at the start, but do you know what, mate? It's still going. That was a good piece of leather. That has been jerked up and undone and jerked up that many times. And I'm not talking just on weekends. This has been lived in. Oh. Oh, sorry, mate, nice little uppercut there. This handle broke on me. 
and it was a canvas one, which is why I've replaced it with the leather. That's the only thing that's broken on this swag. This was me doing trying a bit of amateur leather work and it didn't really work. But the bit of rope that went on there and on there so that I could carry it like this. They're quite heavy. They're yeah. definitely heavy. I don't know how much they are. You can roll them. Um, there's a couple of little holes. There's, there's a tear in there. Right, and there's the canvas. Now my canvas, you have taken the light, mate. The 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 light canvas, the light, the 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 light weight. This is, as I said, the first video. This is a thinner canvas, and it's got a uh, a thinner cotton. Yeah. Right. So I'm trying to improve it a little. So there's a hole there. I think that's a burn. It's obviously got a little ember that's come off. No, they they're just scratches. Maybe it got caught throwing it over a fence or throwing it on the back of the hood. Uh, but this, mate, I love this swag because every time I want to go somewhere, I can grab it. I'm comfy, I'm warm, I'm safe. I can roll it out anywhere. Um, well, on the ground. Where else do you roll it out? Oh, you can roll it out on the table. You can roll it out anywhere. Uh, and it tells all my stories of where I've been and I haven't made myself a new one because I kind of like that one. But I am looking forward to a new one. Don't know if I'll part with the fifteen hundred dollars, eh? <laughs> I'll, um, they might, they might be a second-hand one, but they're a. I haven't made swags for a long time because I know how expensive they are to make, and then I decided this year, you know what? I'm going to do it. I've got my navy canvas, and we've we've made them. We've made sixteen, made eighteen. Eighteen. There's thirty-six mattresses. Um, that's it. That's really good. William, we didn't hear what you wanted yeah, about your swag. Okay, quickly, quick, last 10 seconds of the video. What do you like about your swag, William? It's really tall, as I said, it is. You can open it, under the bottom, so your toes can have some air. Just a bit of, yes. bit of toe, let's say. Oh, sorry. And how do you open your swag? Jump up there and jerk it open so you want to get into bed. Yeah, yeah. Open up like that, do you? Yeah. Not that far, you know. And what do you do? Jump in here, jump in here. Let me show you, because this will cover your head. Jump in there. Get in there, the pair of you. Quick, get in there. Feet first. Come on. Yeah, get in feet first, though, Tom. Quick, get in there. All right, I'm going to show you, because what happens when it gets dark and the lights are on and Dad wants you to go to sleep? What's he do? He does this. He puts this over here, right? And then he's done. It's dark, that shush. No, it isn't. No, it's sleep. They go to sleep, right? And just as they drift off and the lights are on, I come up here at night time and I pull the tops over and then they're done, mate. I don't see them until the next morning. No light can get in there. And there's stretch. All right, I'm going to leave it at that because it's going to get really uncool. Um, that's the Angus Barrett swag. It's fair dinkum ripper. Uh, there's 18 made. I hope you enjoy it. Any questions, yell out. Let us know your feedback. The, the good, the bad. Tom, excuse me. The good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, your question I can't say no now. Quick, very quickly. Um, will you make big ones? Like long ones? Longer. No, this is as long as we make. This is the only size I'm going to make. I'm not going to make a double. I'm not going to make a single. If you can't get two people in there, you're not trying. And if you don't want two people in there, you probably want your own swag each. Stay cool.